This is a relatively easy question. The SAT probably wants us to complete the square here, but basically avoid completing the square at all costs. You, you've probably learned it at some point in school. You probably remember that word, that name, but the process is tedious and annoying, and we really don't want to do it. It is just something that people think they remember, but tend to mess up. And we can see from these answer choices that if we mess it up, if we lose a negative, that's it, game over. So yes, we could go to Desmos, and we could graph this top equation, and then graph all the other ones and, and see how they compare. They need to line up exactly. But I just want to show you the arithmetize because uh, I don't think it's that bad, right? So I would do what I always do. I pick X is zero and I'd say, okay, that means that this equation is just going to be the four, right? So I'm looking for a four now in the answer choices. So putting in zero, I'd get in choice A, three squared is nine plus five. That's not four. This would be nine minus five. That is, but we got to be careful. Let's make sure we don't make a mistake here. So this would be a negative three squared. That's nine plus five. That also doesn't work. But here, negative three squared is nine minus Minus five also works. So this happens. This doesn't bother me, but remember with arithmetize, we might pick a number that works in multiple answers. We always have to go all the way through with our number. And some people avoid the number zero specifically to try to avoid this problem, but I don't think it matters. That really just took, I don't know, 10 seconds to go through those four choices. And it's not going to take much longer to just try a new number. Let's say X equals one and now try that one plus six plus four, that's 11. Now, which choice of the two that are remaining gives me 11? Well, this would be four squared, that's 16 minus five, that's 11. But this would be negative two squared, so that's four minus five, that's negative one. So it is B, right? So we could have, if we if we just stopped there before, we would have been lucky and gotten it, but that doesn't always work. So I really like this question because um, it to me, this is, this is really where we cross the line from algebra into arithmetize, right? The, the algebra is not terrible. We, we could complete the square if we remembered it. We could look at these answer choices and foil them out and combine like terms. We could maybe understand how the negatives will behave and, and, and understand without even really solving the algebra like what we need to happen, or we could put it in Desmos. But to me, I do think here is where the arithmetize becomes more efficient time-wise and safer. And so even though the algebra is not so bad, this would be a question I would I would definitely arithmetize in the real test. I know how to do it, but I know how to do it with arithmetize too, and I just I like the strategy.